Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. What's up, happy people? Because I'm trying to always be happy. It's your girl, Songbird. Don't do it, And we're back for another episode of your favorite internet show. It's right down the wall. I know you see it. I know you see it. Polar Opposites, the Melanin Edition. All right, so if this is your first time tuning in, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell to sit down on this. And... <laughs> <laughs> so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites pops up. And for our returning opposite fam. What they do. Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get into today's topic. This was pretty funny if you ask me. Are hats the weave of men? Take it away. Yes. <laughs> yes. A lot of these dudes got these messed up hairlines. Like them joints be way back here and they be they always rocking the, 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 the fitted cap. They always rocking the plies or, fitted cap. Or or they got one of them big old massive uh milk dud heads like Neo. I love you, Neo, but you got to keep on a hat, baby. Yeah. yeah. You have to keep on a hat. Listen, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's a lot of fat head ass dudes out there. It's hard to go inside of one of these these um lids. These, yeah, lids or something <laughs> like that. And I got dread, so I I need a seven seven eight or I uh -uh, need an eight. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I need an Do eight. Do not put it on those dreads. No, listen, listen. I'm being that completely thing is honest. massive. I'm being completely honest with you. Without these, I can I can give it to a seven and a half. Lies. No, seriously, I can't. When I had braids, I could. Coming from one big head person to another, I doubt it. Listen, just because your shit extra large, that don't put, don't You're put right, me in the big head, head, big brain. Thanks, Dad. Nah, just big as fucking, still dumb as a box of rocks. But trying to go in there to find a hat, man, it, it's never no seven, seven, eights. It's no, never no eight. Yes. Y'all big head niggas is taking over. It is. It's. That's why I got to rock these, cause I can't never find no hats here in Florida. It's a lot of big head motherfuckers out here. Those stretch, exactly, <laughs> and it's comfortable too. It's a lot comfortable. This probably cost me what three, four dollars. A hat gonna run me about thirty-five, forty dollars. I mean, shit, I can load up on these. But see, this is my thing though. Y'all will tear a woman up and down if she's wearing weave, but y'all got on these big old expensive seven, eight and a half hats, and nobody says a word to y'all. Yeah. Like, no. But the thing is, though, most women can take off those hats or those wigs just like y'all take off those hats. Exactly. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. When a guy take off a hat, you already know it's a 50-50 chance uh, that something could be under that. When she take that weave out, you don't know what you're getting from that. It could, it could stink. It could be matted. It could be maggots. It could be dandruff. It could be tons of things under there. She can, you can meet her in a club and she got this red burgundy hair on or whatever. And then y'all go home, y'all do what y'all do. You wake up, the red burgundy hair is sitting on the, the nightstand and she got this bleach blonde hair and it's sticking up like, like, um, like, um, from, like Wayman from Low Down Dirty Shame. She, she wake up and she looking like, you like, what the hell is that? How did you get here? Bruh. You know, just things like that. You, you don't want, you don't, you don't want. To, to to have to deal with somebody that has that kind of crap under But that's hair. the same thing with the hat. Exactly. You don't know what type of head is under that hat. Exactly, but here's the thing. With a guy, when you meet him, he say, hey, ma, can I get your number? You're like, hold up, baby. Before I meet you, take that hat off. I need to see what's under there. Now, you can't, a guy, we can't that do that. That's so superficial. Hey, but it's the truth because at the end of the day, if you, if you let's just say, you start catching feelings for this dude or this dude, y'all have sex and this dude buzz inside you, it's a chance that you can have a boy and then your boy most likely going to have that hairline. Or if even fucked up, uh, the little girl can have that hairline. Well, then have a C-section and be careful. Exactly. That's why you're like, hey, bro, take that hat off. Let me see. Because as guys, we can't say, hey, ma, what's, what's going on underneath that? Can you take that weave out? Let me see what your real hair. Ain't no female in the world finna take her weave out so you can see her real hair. Well, not in a public place. She ain't. Most female. I dated, I dated this one girl. She told me that I would never see her real hair. She would purposely leave, go get hair changes and all this other stuff just so I could never see her real hair. And I, I was like, with a true insecurity. Yes, true hair insecurity. Which I told him, like, listen, it don't matter. I don't care if your hair is this long or your hair is this long. Doesn't matter. 
just be confident. Just be confident in what you look like in your original state. That's all I care about. So if you completely bald like Michael Jordan underneath that, it's okay. Just be confident in that. But don't think that somebody's not going to like you for who you are because you ain't got no damn hair. And that's the thing though, if a person can't accept you the way that you are, is that truly a person you want to grow with or be with, period? Because that means they're not accepting you in your natural state. So, just just a little nugget, something for y'all to think about. Exactly, I think that a lot of y'all um, females, y'all be talking to these dudes, oh, you look good in the face. Y'all need to start hat checking these niggas. Like, real deal, start hat checking them. Just like they're talking about, oh, we gonna have to go swimming to see what y'all look like under this makeup and taking wigs off to see what kind of hair you got. You need to start telling them to take them hats off. I want to see that hairline. I want to see it. You know what y'all need to do? Start pulling hair too. Cause I seen the video where they um where these guys are getting these um I don't know if they toupees or they wigs. Their lace front wigs. Yeah, and then they getting it cut to make it look like it's theirs, but they they real hairline go around here and leave leave the sunroof open. And now they're getting stuff to put on top of it. And then the barber, they put that black stuff on it. They fade it down. It look real good. So y'all females, y'all might want to go. You going to get one? I don't need it. I, I ain't got no bald spots. My hairline is right here where it's supposed to be. I thought your hairline was supposed to be like right here. Nah, my hairline is not supposed to be back here. My hairline is right up here, right where it's supposed right, to be. Whatever you say. All right. What's your opinion on that? Do you think that hats are the weave for men? Sound off below. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, tag a friend, tell a friend, tag a friend that wears a hat all the time. Exactly. See what they got to say. Tell them to comment. Since I wear one in 99.9% .9 of this, my hairline is where it's at. I don't, I wear this because this is always shiny and it shows up a lot. If y'all can see on the side, you see where my hairline is? Bald spots. No, no bald spots. <laughs> you see this? Yeah, my hairline is right there where it's supposed to be. Keep in line. Down. In line, and on this side too. In line, ball spice. See right there. See it's right there. You ain't got to go way back there nowhere. It's Bunch right shots. there. It ain't no. It ain't do. I ain't got the Batman or the McDonald's. I ain't got none of that. <laughs> Best believe. I'm gonna get my junk retwisted one day, and then I'm gonna wear it. One I day. Have. One day, not two day. Cause we we filming today, so I ain't gonna do it two day. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Songbird. Don't do Peace.